Hi, this is another BiteWiser.com Inkscape tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to make an icon for an app. Uh, you know, anything for the iPad, iPhone, anything Android related, uh, this will all apply. So let's get started. First thing that you can do, or that you should do, is you should go ahead and make the size of your image 512 pixels by 512. That is what they use um, at the very least. Uh, in the Apple uh, App Store, you'll need to have those dimensions and from there you can resize down and make different sized images uh, depending on what uh, Apple requires you to do. Now let's close out of here and we will make uh, the square uh, for our background for our app. And what we're going to need is for a width of 512 and a height of 512. This is our square here. And we'll want to center that up on the page. So go to Object, Align, Distribute, and just center that up. Next thing that you want to do is um, the edges on every uh, app icon are rounded. And they're rounded on a 512 by 512 icon. Uh, they're rounded by a radius of 80 pixels. So let's go into here. And we'll punch in 80 and get the Y value of 80 as well. There we go. And that looks already kind of, uh, well, it looks like an, an app icon, uh, you know, ones that I've seen anyways. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to change this to a really uh, dark gray color for now. And as you can see, I'm using the Ubuntu uh, color set here. I, I like that one the best, so I always stick with that. Now I'm going to go ahead and since we got our uh, general shape of this going here, I'm going to make a sort of, you know, somewhat faux uh, uh, metal edge around uh, the outside here. So I'm going to go ahead and do an object to path first. Then I'm going to do a control D to duplicate. And so I can see what I'm doing when I size this down. I'm going to just make this any different color just temporarily. And I'm then going to size it down by going to path and doing a dynamic offset on that. And I want it to be sized down very little, like that. You know, so that there's just enough of a, the dark gray behind it that you can just barely see it. So now I'm going to go ahead and temporarily I'm going to change this to a light gray color. And you'll see what I'm going to do with that in a little bit here. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this light gray square and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to size that down a little bit. Again, well, first, before I even do that, I should change the color again temporarily so I can see how far I'm doing this uh, dynamic offset. And that looks, that looks reasonable. It's not too bad. I'm going to do an object to path on that. And then I'm going to select the light gray one, do an object to path on that just to be safe. I'm going to select both of these guys and run a difference on it so that I can see the dark gray behind it. So now um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of make a kind of metallic-ish uh, look to this with a linear gradient. So let's go ahead and click on this color down here and go over here to linear gradient. Click on that and we're going to edit our linear gradient. Actually. Before I do that, we'll click on this Edit by Paths by Nodes tool. Excuse me. And um, I'm going to bring that up here. I'm going to make it linear, or uh, sorry, vertically. So I'm going to grab this guy and press Control. And you can see it kind of snap and bring it down there. So now we got the basics of that going on. Now let's go and add a whole bunch of. Uh, whole bunch of stops to here. Probably add a few more. Okay. And let's make sure that <laughs> I should have done this first, but let's make sure all of our alpha values for every single one of these guys are cranked all the way up because you can't have any transparency in any of these uh, icons that you submit. Or so I'm told. I ha myself have not done this. Um, I, I don't have a program on the App Store or anything, but uh, I've read up on it, and that's what I've read. So there we go. Everything is uh, 
has the alpha value all the way up so that it's uh, fully uh, opaque. So now we can go in and we can kind of mess with these values. Let's get a, a darker color in here. Not too dark, but just kind of darker. Maybe crank it up a little bit more, a little ways down. And then pull it back a little bit here. You'll see what I'm doing in a minute. Yeah. Oh, what's going on? Okay. And uh, let's make this guy just a touch. Yeah, you can just fiddle with this you know, as much as you want. So, okay, I got my gradient. And now I'm going to slide these guys around here. Kind of make this look metallic ish. Something like that. That's, I like that a little bit better. And actually, right here, I'm going to go back in and edit that gradient. I want to add one more stop in there. And uh, I'm going to make that guy just a little bit darker. Oh, what's going on here? Okay. Yeah, just like that. There's just a little bit of a glimmer up top there. And uh, we got something that looks okay. And I'm also going to do another linear gradient on the dark gray guy in the background here but it's going to be much less noticeable I'm just going to use the two points on there and again it's going to be horizontal here or sorry <laughs> vertical and let's go and uh, edit that guy let's crank up the alpha value for this endpoint here and I'm just going to make that full on black so it's kind of fading from black to a a light gray color okay so now we kinda we got that going and that that looks decent it looks good uh, we can then move on I'm gonna scoot over here to our design that we're gonna put in the middle here and uh, you know it's gonna be generic but it's gonna get the point across of how to do this so I'm just grabbing my ellipse tool and just dragging something out here and then I'm gonna go to object to path on that and now I'm going to mess with these nodes a little bit. I'm going to click on this top node here on my oval that I made. I'm going to press the down key and just kind of bring it down a little bit. Then I'm going to click on this guy and hit shift and click on this node here. I'm going to bring them down just a touch. And then just because I feel like doing it, I'm going to press control and grab this, this arm right here and bring it down a little bit and bring this guy up a little bit. So it looks yeah, kind of like an egg or something like that. I don't know. And uh, so let's duplicate that and again change the color so we can see what we're doing here. And let's size that down a little bit. Just hit Control Shift and hit this uh, diagonal arrow here. And bring it down a little ways here. Now hit the up arrow and bring it up. And I'm just going to, eh, I might make that a little bit bigger. And I want a little bit, a little piece of this, uh, this oval here to be up above the orange one. And let's go ahead and do a difference on that so we got a hole in there now. Okay, and uh, temporarily we'll just change this to a red color. Now let's go ahead, I'm going to X out of, whoop, I'm going to X out of these guys. And now I'm going to go to Object and transform. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to rotate this by mm, 45 degrees and that will rotate it 45 degrees. Now let's duplicate this, control D and do 45 degrees twice on that. So it kind of has what looks like an X here. At least I think it looks like an X. And uh, that's, that's decent. Let's click on both of these guys and I'm going to do a union on that so that is one object. Now let's bring this guy over 
actually let's uh, let's center this guy up right in the middle so let's go to object and align distribute and center that up within the icon that's looking okay but yeah we'll want to go and uh, change this uh, probably to a radial radial gradient something like that and we'll want to edit that Let's go in and crank this alpha value up all the way because you're not allowed to have that. And we can just make this a little bit darker, a darker red, and make the inside, inside of this a little bit brighter. So it kind of stands out a little bit. Maybe even make it a little bit orangish. Yeah. And now I can move the center of that. I'm going to move the center of that right here and the center of that X. Like, like that. Now I'm going to hit Control and click on this arm here for the uh, gradient. And kind of stretch that up a little bit. That's decent. Now we can go ahead and I'm going to do a Control D and I'm going to make that a white color. So I'm going to, that's not quite white. You can see it's E E E E E. Um, that needs to be all F's, so uh, it's completely white. I'm going to hit page down to make that hide behind uh, our X here that we have. And I'll just do a dynamic offset on that just to bring out just a touch so that, well, that's way too much. Kind of like this. So that you can uh, kind of tell, tell the red from the black and everything because that red's dark and obviously the black and dark gray is dark so you want to kind of give a little bit of contrast there I'm gonna want to bring that in just a touch that's kind of bugging me just a little bit that's real little you know I better zoom in to do this okay like that maybe that's just the same thing that I had but okay uh, do an object to path on that and there you go there is an icon for the App Store you know it's pretty simple but it'll uh, it'll get the job done it'll give you the right idea for how to do this so if you have any questions uh, feel free to uh, you know uh, drop a comment there uh, for this video or you can go to bitewiser.com uh, leave an email there uh, so uh, see you later bye